another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voice inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we're playing Doctor's Dead, and this chick killed her husband. Yep, but says she's not. Yep, she's trying to say she didn't do it, but I know she did it. Well, let's ask her if she knows Bryce first, because she talked about Bryce, yeah. Smuggling a body out of a funeral can be difficult, unless you pay the right people. Uh, that's why Decker's coffin was empty, felt empty too. Someone smuggled his bot. She reanimated Dr. Decker. He's living in his basement, dude. Well, maybe Mariana did. Yeah, Dr. Dre's dead. He's buried in my basement. I'm honestly, Mariana is becoming more and more of a, uh, a the killer to me. Oh, yeah. Do well, you I mean, do you know anything about the paper spike? I want to ask her about all the questions first. A paper spike is an odd thing to use as a weapon. I suppose if it went directly into the heart, it might work. Or through his eye, or perhaps through the air into his brain. Or was it just a frenzied, bloody mess of a murder? Do you know, Doctor? Okay, what? you took way too much pleasure in yeah. answering that. Let's see what else is. I should tell Bryce that Claire says he's been smuggling by. Yo, yeah, we definitely need to. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely get into that. All right, I guess we're going to do it, dude. Yeah, let's tell her she is, dude. Yes, you're a killer. At worst, it's manslaughter. I didn't mean to kill him. I just stabbed him a bit. A bit? A bit. And although he was dead for a week, I brought him back to life. Does this mean you won't help me? Was I temporarily insane? You don't sound insane. You sound like you're very calculated about what you're doing. Yeah, I'm I'm not. Nah, dude, I'm not helping. Oh, I can't do it, dude. I can't do it, Claire. We can tell some lady we're going to call the police, but I can't, like mess with the law right like uh, like we can't do it in good conscience yeah it, we would lose our license over that <laughs> i think even beyond losing our license our sympathy of humanity would be gone if we were to assist this woman in getting away with murder yeah dude, and uh, necromancy yeah <laughs> yes and necromancy no was. you weren't i'm going to pretend that i didn't hear that let's have a few more sessions before you seal our fates or is it that you want something else, like Dr. Decker did? Oh, what did he want? What did Dr. Decker want? My insights. Dr. Decker teased me mercilessly about my alleged ability. He didn't believe I'd reanimated David. Once, he presented me with a dead mouse and commanded me to give it life again. Well, I mean, that's a good way to I didn't, of course. It's not something I'd throw around lightly. He changed his mind about me eventually. Why? And then he mentioned the girl. Uh-oh. See, all right. What, what, what are you thinking? Either. Either is good. Oh, I thought you had something to say. No, no, I'm just like, the girl. See, like, did Dr. Decker accidentally kill somebody in a heat of passion? He called her up to reanimate, and then she believed him? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe Dr. Dr. Decker, Decker was, was a real D. Yeah, he was out here killing hookers. You never know. Maybe. All right, what girl did he mention? He told me he'd locked up a girl in the basement of his house. Holy oh shit. God. I mean, he crap. Me, and he asked me to reanimate her. It was Iris. Oh. I said I couldn't reanimate something that wasn't dead, and he said that wouldn't be a problem. So I agreed. I just played along. I was hoping it wasn't real. I assumed it wasn't real. But he was offering me what I wanted. A temporary insanity diagnosis. Wow, right. Dr. Decker's coming across as a real sleaze ball. All right, Claire says that the girl doctor in Dr. Decker's basement was Iris. Who was Iris? Do we that know? was the girl that Jaya said he was talking about. Okay. That okay. he was seeing or something. Okay. Oh, the older lady. I right. think so, yeah. Maybe. I don't, I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. That, that's fine. Still, that's kind of effed up. Either way, did you help Yeah, let's Iris? keep down this path, yeah. It didn't happen. Dr. Decker called me from his house to cancel. He was furious. He said that Iris had escaped, and he blamed me for it. Maybe he said that Iris I must have set her free after he told me about her. I knew it was all lies anyways. He was obviously titillating himself by reprimanding me. He knew I'd never want to speak to Iris again, so I couldn't prove it either way. What? Okay. Maybe, maybe. All right, what changed his mind about you? Because right now you're coming across as a maniac to us. Oh, so, yeah, dude. Absolute crazy. And then she's lady. throwing Decker under the bus like he's a deviant, like holding girls captive. And I mean, he, he, he's And wondering. if she got away. Yeah. I mean, we can't prove anything she's saying. It's true oh, I wouldn't believe anyway her at anything. this point. 
All right. Dr. Decker asked if I could prove David wasn't dead, so I took him to the lake house. He saw that I was telling the truth. I can take you to see him too, if you like. Would you like to see David, Doctor? Yes. Yes, 100%. Oh, I thought, yes, let's go. Yes, I'd like to see David. Very well. In our next session. All right, cool. How is it possible David was brought back to life? Are you lying I'm about never, never seeing seen Dr. Decker. Decker outside of your sessions? Or did you speak to the girl? Speak to the, the girl at the house. lake house. All right, let's let's yeah. find out how she gained her abilities. Yeah. You tell me. What could possibly explain that? I don't right. like your coy behavior. Yeah, right. Oh man, we got a bunch of stuff here now. Do you think you might be seeing a David's ghost? That's what I was thinking. I assure you. David is not a ghost. I've touched him. Where she touched him? In his freaking necromantic pecs. I don't know. His butt cheeks. Straight up accu accusing her of lying. Is right. David not human? Since I brought him back, I felt that there was something different about him. Something not quite right. I think it's his brain. But how ludicrous that you can bring someone back in the first place. Oh, uh, yeah? It's like that book, Pet Symmetry. Funnily enough, he does smell of earth, but that's because he spends most of his time out hunting. Humans. She, she turned this dude into a, a, a vampire. He's a goddamn Nosferatu. <laughs> <laughs> Are you lying about David being alive? Are you lying about never seeing Dr. Decker outside of your session? Yeah, let's keep down David, I guess. All right. If David doesn't exist, then that means that I really did kill him. He really is buried, and I really should be going to prison for a very long time. That just doesn't seem right to me. It's more probable that I reanimated him under Dr. Decker's guidance. Oh, yeah. I agree. That's definitely more <laughs> Yeah, that may obviously. All right, let's finish out these couple more here. I think we don't have too much more to go with her. Let's find out about Decker. How astute, Doctor. Yes, I did say I hadn't seen Dr. Decker outside of our sessions. Uh-huh. That wasn't a lie. Our trip to the lake house was made during a session. You oh, okay. Very, very coy. Did you speak to the girl at the lake house? I didn't speak to her this time. Something about her made me feel uneasy. I just watched her from the bedroom window. The demon heads growing from her She's skull. caught a fish. She was holding it in her hands. I can't condone murdering animals. <laughs> Me either. What did the girl <laughs> do with the fish? I wasn't close enough to see, but for all intents and purposes, it looked as if the fish bit her. One, what? two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I threw it back again. Is that how it goes? I think so. Piranhas. All right, let's go to Bryce because that's it. Just feeds right off of this. We got, right. got a little bit of time left. Maybe a piranha bite. All right, Bryce, where you at? You freaking weirdo. Bryce, what's going on, buddy? Yeah. Let's what, are start you asking, what are you looking at, <laughs> Bryce? <laughs> Hello, doctor. I've been thinking about our last session. And I just wanted you to know that I'm not a bad person. <laughs> I, I know taking naked photographs is He's really is stuck wrong, on that, man. But you don't know what it's like until you face the same temptation. I'm assuming you don't know what it's like. I mean... Do you have an extra hour, Doctor? I mean, there not there plenty of people you see and go, Man, I wonder what they look like naked, but you don't freeze them, break into their house, take their clothes off, and take naked pictures of them. <laughs> Well, you can't you can't freeze them. So oh, um, gotcha. That's the, that's so you're saying if we could freeze them, we'd be just as dirty and deviant as I'm Bryce. I'm not saying I would, but no. Could yes, I have an extra hour, or no, I don't have an extra hour. I think I should just say no. I don't yeah. have an extra hour. Thank God for that. There's someone else in my hour, a hooded figure, oh. watching me and following me. I followed it too. This is new information. Yeah, exactly. Tell me more about this hooded, hooded figure. Yeah. I don't know who it is. My initial thought was that it was you, that I told you about my affliction, and, and somehow you'd got it too. Now I think maybe it's the military. Oh, or yeah. Some organization that wants to use the hour themselves. 
Maybe it's Dr. Decker risen from the dead. I need to talk to you about him. Yeah, we do. We need to talk to you about him. Oh my God! There's there's so Let's much happening see here. Uh, Why would the military? Oh, where'd you fun? follow the hooded figure? Yeah, where'd you? Yeah, where'd it go? Whatever it is that's following me, it doesn't want to catch me yet. If I move towards it, it runs away. Okay. And when I follow it, I follow it past temptations. The hell does that a mean? A bar brawl, an open till, an open bedroom window, like it's. Testing me. What? Oh. When he follows the figure, that's when he's like, "Oh, here's a lady in the bedroom. You want to see naked? <laughs> do you want to go in there and do that?" Oh my god, dude, that's this is awful. So awful. All right, uh, what else can you tell me about Decker? Tell me about the bar brawl. Tell me about the open till. Tell me about the bedroom window. Oh wow, we still got a lot to go. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll get into that one on the next one though. So. All right, that sounds good. All right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you already did that. You know, there's a notification bell you can hit. And uh, yeah, I'm Jonas. TNT. Oh uh, yeah, we're out.